What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Standwich and welcome to episode 9 of my Come Learn With Me series where I'm just building stuff in Roblox Studio, slowly learning about modeling and yeah, um, I guess the other part is hopefully I'll learn something as y'all watch these videos, but we've gotten a lot of progress honestly and today what I want to do is we're gonna throw a pantry in this corner it's something I wanted to do the other day I know I haven't played this or made a video for this series in a few days I think it was three days ago but I'm here today and I want to get a bunch of stuff done so we're gonna we're gonna hopefully do that I'm gonna make this wall pretty thin I mean can I make a uh, angled wall I think to where the entrance is like a it's gonna be wall 90 degrees, wall 90 degrees, and this one's gonna be 45 degrees. I think that's how I want to do it. I think it's kind of optimal as well. Um, let's see. Is this like inside the fridge? Yeah, it is. Okay. That is no bueno. Is that better? No. What the heck? Hmm. <laughs> Why is it like that? That is weird. Hmm. What is the main? All right. Okay. I see. Hmm. What I could do, what I should do, actually, let's say that is on the ZY face, this is going to be the active object, the ZY face, which I don't think it's highlighting, sadly. I want to align it. Nope, this is the active object. Hmm, why did it not? It should be the ZY face, or like the ZY plane. What if I do like the XC plane? How would it look if I do that? Okay, it doesn't really like that. Never mind. Don't do that. This stuff is weird. Like, oh, it's because, duh, I don't know why it's not really working. I have to do it with this. No, I want this side. I actually don't want it like that. But, um, never mind. I do want it like this. Okay. I'll leave it like that. Because this is. 0.5 thick. So if I literally just move it 0.5 over, so it's going to be 0.25. Wrong way. Okay. Even though it literally shows X going positive in the left direction. Wait. Oh, duh. No, I'm dumb. Duh. Yeah. 16.25. There we go. All right. So why is it still like going to the edge? I don't get that. You know what? We're going to leave it, because it looks, it looks fine to me, if we're being real. So, let's move it up so it's flush with that. And then let's scale it out a little bit. And then probably this side as well. Actually, it's a bit too much, I think. I'll make it in line with the counter. And then this, I guess, can go back a little bit. I might eventually move the fridge to like the other side, I think. Because I also need to add like a dishwasher in, so I think I'm gonna move this over. Um, but I'm not going for any like specific dimensions on this uh, pantry for now, as you can tell. So, actually, one thing I do want to see this is 4.5, this is 5.57. You know what? It's fine. What we're going to do next is going to be the fun part. We are going to rotate this bad boy. And, hmm. That's one reason why I, why I, yeah, why I want to make this the same like size as the other one. So I'm going to make this one, I'm going to make this one 4.5 as well. There we go. Okay. Now let's... Throw it up against the wall. There we go. And then, why did that just like. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're going to do 45 degree angles, which it doesn't like. Wait, what? 
rotate. That is not 45 degrees, what? Um, I, I don't even know. I guess it has, maybe it has to do just within this thing then. Whatever, okay. Um, let's move it a bit this way. I want to kind of get it like right in between these two if I can. Okay, that's there. Let me just move this until it's kind of like matching a little bit. Um, hmm. <laughs> Here, I'm going to do this to make it kind of easy. I, I probably could all do a line with this one as well, but I don't really want to do that. So we're going to, we're not going to do that. And I'm going to put it perfectly in the corner. So move it over a one. There we go. Okay, it's in the corner. Now I can measure the distance kind of from here to here. And this one's going to be the z direction. So this is my calculator. Actually, I'll just use my phone. So that's 79.5 minus 71.25. So that's 8.25 away. And so this one's on the x direction. So, 8.25. So then we have 24.5 minus 8.25. So it should be at 16.25, which it is. So they are equidistant away now. Okay, that's good. All right, so I just need to adjust this then to where it's in the right spot. Because it is not like even, I guess. Because it's either, yeah, intersecting one or the other. I guess I might need to like, What's it called? Move it half. Like I need to move it like halfway between these two. Hmm. I guess I could scale it as well. That looks like it did the job actually. Because now it's intersecting both. It looks like kind of the same amount too. I don't know if it's perfect or not. Doesn't look like it is, but. Hmm. I think I'll leave it for now. Do that and that. Um, they're not perfectly flush, sadly. Let's see if I can move this out. No, it's too much. I need to. I can do it by one. Is that it? Is that what we needed? Kind of. Now it's like too far out. This is bothering me. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't even either. That's annoying. Um, hmm, let me do this. Let me align it with this. Um. No, I want to align it in the XZ, I think. Just like right above it. There we go. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Now I can literally just drag this thing straight out. And now it should be even on either side. I did not mean to highlight literally everything. Okay, now it should be even. There we go. It took like wait so I'm gonna leave that in the corner just for now. What we're gonna do with this is I'm going to make it a door, so mm, how tall should I make it? I'm afraid I'm still on point one, dang it. So I need to make this like, which I don't want to do that, dang it. I need to make it to where this is on 8.5 before I start messing with the scaling. That makes sense. Like now I could do it. I think that should be good. Also, one thing I need to do is for anchoring stuff. 
Um, but we're going to move this all the way down to the floor. Definitely taking a bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but mm, I really don't care all too much, I guess. And this isn't like perfectly aligned, as you can tell, but eh, I'll try to get aligned it a little bit better. It is bothering me a tad bit, but I guess I'd rather would have it out one more than in. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Um, I definitely like it. I think I like it sticking out more than in. But yeah, okay. What size is this bad boy? One. Okay, so I need to widen <coughs> this by a little bit. I need to adjust this back to two five as well. One. Da, da, da. Okay, they're the same dimension now. Let's move it down to the floor as well. Okay, and then it's extended up. Then there's a little pantry. Let's add some shelves to it also, one thing I want to do as well. Um, what part is it? Oh. Let's add this to a group, call this pantry. This is like not even super in-depth modeling. You can see how kind of hard it is to get everything super uh, detailed and like aligned. But at the end of the day, it looks really good, I'd say. I think I did a good job. The height of the door is good. I like that. We should keep like the heights of doors like universal to some extent, but I like this. And let's add some shelves into it. That's what we need to do now. This part should be a lot easier, I think. Just cause, I, I guess. Um, let's scale it down, make it thin. Let's move it over to the wall. There we go. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I want to like. If it is going to be like one of these here, one of these here, it like type deals or what I'm going to do. Is it is it fine if I do that? I guess it is. Oh, okay. Well. I guess I could union them. There, there we go. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah, it's a lot better. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna make a, one more, actually two more, but just for now. There we go. Actually, I want to keep these shelves lower because of kind of like the height. Oh, come on. Um. Maybe like here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so it's feeling like just almost two kind of layers in the wall. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. There we go, okay. Not thin up on this ceiling. Might add some lights up there. I think that'd be the move. And then what I will do actually is I'm gonna scale this up through all the shelves as like a support. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, let's add some lights, like I said. Or a light. We got a light like in this corner. Um, I need to like, what's it called? Knock some of these down so I can automatically like see the sides of things. Um, how, how do I want to, I kind of want to do like a shrouded lamp. I'm trying to think of like how I would, how I should do this. Let's just add light, point light, spotlight, surface light. Let's just do that. A nice little point light. 
I actually do want to see what the other lights are, if I can. Real quick, spotlight. I guess it just goes down. Okay, yep, yep. It's a directional light. I like that. Makes sense. Let's see what the last one is. Surface light. What does this mean? Surface light is a lot like the... What's it called? I can't even think. The lamps. It looks like it's also going through the walls as well, though. Yes, it does. Okay. So I don't know how to fix that yet, but it's something I do want to kind of figure out in the future as far as making it to where light does not go through um, walls and stuff. But that's a light. Um, let's make a little, little shroud thingy for this. Um, what size is this? 2x2, two two, I like that. And let's add a little, actually... Um, I thought it was like right in the middle. Right there is fine actually. I like that. Um, is that a, that's above the, um, the wall. Yep. Oh, nope. Just needed one. And there we go. You need to those two pieces, and then you have a little shroud covering it. So I'm gonna make this thing yellow just because it is a light. I don't know what yellow I use in the other ones, but the rest of this um, is going to become, I think, purple. Uh, I like this color. Use part color as well. All right, everything's looking nice. Um, hmm, what color do I want to make the shelves? Pastel brown. I kind of like that. And what material? That is the question. Glass. I kind of like the texture look, even though it is glass. It's kind of weird. Sand. Nope. Slate. No. <laughs> Not that. I think foil. Just like the look of the texture. No, it's like, I don't like that. Why just leave it as plastic, honestly? I think. What's pebble? No. I'm just going to leave it as plastic for now. And then this outer area, the actual pantry itself, or the outside of the pantry. Um, let's see. What color have I been using? Not that color for sure. Um, kind of like that. And then, let's see, what? Do I want to make it wood? I kind of like that. I like that. The color does though. Hmm. I think I should make the color same color as the walls. Hurricane gray. So let's do that real quick. Where is hurricane gray though? I think I like went over it probably. Oh nope, there it is. And then wood planks. There we go. All right, and nice little purple lamp. <laughs> I guess we'll keep that. Also, Jesus did take quite a while to 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 make, but like I said, this stuff kind of takes a while. You realize it's something I didn't I didn't realize at first. Um, all it takes to model some of these things. Is that like inside of the wall? Looks like it is slightly. But we're going to leave it. <laughs> Let's move this over. We're going to drag that over. We're going to copy and paste it as well. Hmm. 
There we go. And then throw this over here. I really don't know if I needed to do that full 360 with it pretty much, but. Um, is that another four parts selected? Okay, I do. Um, let's unionize all these bad boys. Why did it do that to the, what the heck? You know what, I don't care. Counter one, throw it in there. All right, it's part of the counter. I do need to, to unionize that so it doesn't look like that. <laughs> Wait, two parts. Is it these two parts? Why did it? Okay, there we go. Let's go. That looks better. Um, there we go. Alright. Um, hmm. I wonder how quickly I can make a quick dishwasher. We're going to do that. We're going to drag this over here. Um, throw that against there. Throw that there. We're going to throw the dishwasher right on the end here. So let's let's make that real quick. It's going to be a lot like our oven, except not quite. Which sounds dumb, but... <laughs> Um, we drop it back a little bit from the front, or on the front side. Let's throw another part in the front. Make it really thin. That's going to be the door. Um, throw that right there. She drop it down a little bit. Make this top part, I'm going to make it darker gray just for now. That's easier to see everything. We can make this a little bit darker gray, but not quite. The same color. I think that was darker. I really don't know. Also, don't even know what the heck I just clicked. But well, <laughs> oops. Add some like little little knobs, I guess. There we go. Okay, need to put these parts. Um, what does this need to be? 0 0.5, I think. No, it needs to be not 0.5. It needs to be halfway between. Point. What is it? What's it gonna be? Six two five. There we go. That's what we needed. All right. Then what one more just for good measure, I guess. Might make this one a little bit bigger. Maybe. Actually I need to make like a really small one. I so I need to make this one smaller. Um Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh actually here's what I'm gonna do. There we go, okay. And then, one thing I'm going to do, because I don't want to make this again, I'm going to recycle a little bit. When I say a little bit, I mean quite a bit. <laughs> this handle, there we go. And we happen to make the same width too, so that's, that's a nice. Well, that was very quick, making the dishwasher, and it actually isn't the same width. I just realized, oops. We're going to fix that. Boom. Okay, that was a very easy fix. Um, what should we do? What should we do? It looks like the oven, kind of, but it's a dishwasher. I don't know how, like, oh, I don't know what to do. Or, yeah, I got time. I got time. Watch this. Boom. This whole get up. 
It's going to be brought down a little bit. Not that. So how I like selected the whole floor instead? What the heck? Um. Okay, I actually need to go down a bit more. Oops. Um, nope. You'll see what I'm trying to do. Because most dishwashers have like counter on top of them. So I need to be able to extend this counter. This top part of this counter to be out over it like this. Because yeah, most dishwashers are under the counter, like I said, so. Boom. 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 Okay, there we go. That was easy, relatively speaking. No, I want to select. Um, is that everything? I think it's everything. There we go. Dishwasher. I think that kind of completes the kitchen, if I'm being honest. Like, I think it's all we needed to add. Or, like, that that finishes it. Uh, one thing. Well, one last thing. Because I don't want the dishwasher on the end. We're going to throw this on the end here. And we're going to... There we go. Alright. Actually, how much is the hangover again? Is it just one? No, it's two. Okay. Two. There we go. Hopefully no one you know hits this walk around the corner, but I like it. Um, <laughs> what does this line up with? That. What is it? Okay, I gotta do that with this one too. I gotta make it to where it like extends out the same amount. There we go. Also, let me save so I haven't done in a while, but I think the kitchen's done. Let's throw the roof on, go inside real quick, go check it out. And hopefully it looks good. I love not being able to put this roof on properly. Like the first try. All right. Let's go in. And then we should be able to call it after this, I think. Did I anchor everything? Probably not, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to move you off to the side. We're going to anchor that. What? What? what are, why haven't I... Come on. Pantry light. What is this? Also, wait a second. Pastel brown. Where is it? Was it over here? Okay, it is. There you go. Okay. Um, how do I like throw it in between something? <laughs> you know what, whatever. We're gonna ungroup this part, maybe? Nope, no, okay, well. Did it just pull that part out of, hopefully it did, like the pantry. Let's see if it did. If I click this. Okay, it's literally just that stuff. All right, let's go, it did. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, okay, now everything 
Anchor. Everything in there should be Anchor. That's Anchor. Okay. Now, let's go in real quick. <laughs> Took a bit longer than I wanted it to, but it's when I the price I have to pay. Now we'll see this this top story looks a lot more detailed, a lot better than the bottom story does, but we'll get there eventually. Here's our pantry, the nice little light in there. Not a lot of room in here, but most pantries don't need much room. Maybe we can put some stuff on there next time. Um, got some counter going. We got the fridge. We have a dishwasher. And an oven. Oh, I need to make a sink. Duh. I need to put a sink like right here. So we'll do that next time. Um, I don't know what else I should do next time. I think I might add some decorations and stuff to downstairs to the the first floor and then other things I'll just ask in the discord what people think I should add and I'll kind of go from there so hopefully you all enjoyed that though um, I know I did I got a lot done um, relatively speaking we got a bunch of detailed stuff done so that took quite a while but hopefully I'll learn something um, as usual hopefully I'll like the designs that I've come up with so far and yeah I probably should start like uploading some of these I suppose but um, regardless, hopefully you'll enjoy that video and I'll catch you next time. So peace out.